Hi, welcome to Collective Gifts. I'm Noella and this is Rachel. Hello, hello, Collective. This is our monthly fast for the month of February. So it's for five days and so it's starting today, Monday, and it's all going all the way till Friday. Yay! <laughs> Day one. So instead of doing a traditional devotional like we've done in previous fasts, um, God has been leading us to do something a little bit different. And um, we talked about yesterday in the collective perspective about what God was teaching us over the week. And one of the things was getting outside of our comfort zone. And when we get outside of our comfort zone, then that means we are doing something different. We're not sticking to the same old, same old. And as a result of that, uh, you know, God can flow and do something different in us and through us. And in this season, we can see that God is doing a new thing. He's He's not the same. He's not a stagnant God. He's always taking us from glory to glory. So he's always doing something new. And if he's doing something different, that means then we too have to do something different, right? Because we want to keep up and be in sync with him. And so we can't do the same things as we used to do. And so today we'd like to encourage you to do something different. You know, we don't like to step out of our comfort zone. We like to be in our own comfy spot. And sometimes for me, I like being a wallflower, you know, just not making any waves or speaking and stuff. I like to watch. But, you know, yesterday at church, I took that step out and did something different and stepped out of my comfort zone. And I was able to minister to other people and make a difference in that in their lives and stuff. And so it wasn't only one person. It was like a few people. So, you know, by doing that, I was able to change, you know, their life some through God. And, you know, with that, you know, with them going out into the world, they might be able to minister to others because they've been ministered to and make a difference in other people's lives. And so by doing that, it compounded the effect of me stepping out of my comfort zone. And it's not only in ministry, but it's also in our personal life. You know, throughout this uh, family fast where we're talking about living Pono, we talked about having that balanced relationship with God, having that balanced relationship with ourselves and having a balanced relationship with others. And in that, uh, you know, God wants us to have that balance. And throughout the fast, God has been speaking to all of us about what areas of life do we need to work on? What areas are we doing too much of something or too little of something? Mm -hmm. You know, are you spending too much or spending too much time doing something or too little time doing something? And so God is stirring up an unction within us. And we all know either is it spending more time in prayer, maybe spending more time in studying the word, spending more time in worship spending more time in, um, you know, doing money management or just management of your time or management of your relationship. So there's stuff that he wants us to do. And so this is the time that we go forth in doing something different so that we can bring forth change. And sometimes the work does seem like it's overwhelming, mm -hmm. but we can't get distracted by how overwhelming it is. We have to go and forth and be focused on what God is um, showing us and the task at hand. And it's basically, um, you know, one by one, it all will get done. You know, his grace is sufficient to help us to complete everything that we need to do. And when we focus on that one thing, whether it's a little thing or a big thing, it's actually taking a step forward. And when we take a step forward, then it's easier to take another step forward and then another one and another one. So, so the next thing you know, we just go forth by leaps and bounds. And so we encourage you to, to just really hone into what God is ministering to you um, up to this point. You know, what is that different thing that you need to do? What is that change that you need to make? So that when you bring forth that shift and that change, it's it's turning things around so that no more is it stagnant, but you are going forth and making progress. And so we encourage you, step out, do something different, get out of your comfort zone, be comfortable being uncomfortable. And so that you can make a difference, not only in your life, but in other people's lives. And we know that it always begins with us, right? In our private ministry before we're able to minister to other people in our public ministry. And it's so easy to get focused on, oh, look at them, they need to do this or that. Yeah, get they critical. need to change. And Not it's me. like, no, the change <laughs> begins with us, right? And as that saying goes, you know, we want to be the change that we desire to see. Because once we demonstrate that, God is able to work in us and he's able to work through us and he's also able to work with us so that we can influence other people and to be able to touch other lives as he so wants us to because we are in the people business. So thank you all for joining us for day one and let's close out in prayer. 
We thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for just continuing to be our God, hallelujah, that you continue to guide and order our steps, leading us from glory to glory, and that we go forth with boldness and confidence, getting out of our comfort zone, hallelujah, that we will get comfortable being uncomfortable, and that we will do it knowing that you are faithful and true, and that you help us and guide us and lead us towards success all, at all times. We just praise you in advance for the glorious things that you are doing, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Well, thank you for joining us, and... We'll see you again for day two. God bless you and shalom.